up to this point we've been saving to the database now I want to start to retrieve from the database we have a very simple HTML project nothing fancy looking we don't have jQuery mobile so it looks plain and boring it will continue to look plain and boring for a little while because um, we haven't gotten into jQuery mobile so let's get back to our code and let's add up on line 25 we're going to We're going to have a div here where we're going to display the data of the comic. We're going to display on screen What we've saved to the database so far. So we'll create a new div. Actually, this one is going to just be a little placeholder, so we'll keep it on one line. So line 27, let's create a div, but we need an ID. So the div show comics. The div show comics table will make a little more sense. So in this div, we're going to show a simple table of comics. Everything that we say is that the database display it on screen. It'll look very basic because then we need to use jQuery mobile to make it look nicer. We need that ID so that we can reference it in JavaScript. We'll jump down to the JavaScript line We have our variables. Oh, here we go. So we've got already a variable for L form save comic. We've got a variable for the database. We need a new variable. I think it'll be easier just to add it above the database because we've already got the comment. We've already got the comma at the end of that line. We have to change this one to a comma, then add the new one, semicolon. Let's add it in between the one that already exists before db l dollar l div show comics table equal to jQuery selector pound div show comics table and then comma at the end. Don't forget that comma because we've got a new variable. We've got the form uh, comma, we've got the, the div where that we will show the table, comma, and then the database, uninitialized. Let's go past the last function that we've already written, all the way on 190. That's the end of our function to save comics. We're going to start a new function here to show comics, but we'll call it function show comics prep. We need to prepare the data simply pulling the data out of the database won't look very user-friendly. So we need to first prepare the data, then actually show it on screen. This is and function show comics prep.
we've used db.put, which puts something new into the database. We use db.get, and we'll use that more extensively in a moment. We'll use db.get to get one item out of the database. We have a way to get all the documents out of the database at once. db.alldocs. We should have called it db.getalldocs. But when they thought of this, no one had that great idea. So it's called dot all docs. So making the note here, get all the docs data from the database. Pouch. We need to, or we can uh, pass in a few options. And then we'll have the callback function, as always. Try to do something with pouch, and you get a failure or a success. But first, we're going to pass in a few options. In JSON format, so open and close curly braces, we're going to pass a few options into this command. The first one in quotes is include underscore docs. After the quote, space, colon, true. The default of trying to get all docs is that it will only bring back or take out, not take out, but you know, report back to you the IDs. It'll only give you a list of IDs in the database. I want to get out of the database the IDs plus the year of the comic, plus the name of the comic, plus all of the stuff of the comic. So we have to say, include the docs, include the actual data of the document true. So be careful of the syntax. We have the opening and closing parentheses for all docs. We have then an opening and closing curly brace for JSON formatted options in quotes, the key, and then the colon and the value. Not in, not quotes there, because true, I, I'm not passing in the true string, I'm pass, passing in the true object, which is true. Yes, give me the all the docs, comma. One more. Quotes ascending, true. Uh, pull the data out of the database and alphabetize it, true. Without that, it'll give it back to me in the order that I put it in the database. I may want that for some purpose, but I want it alphabetized, so ascending, alphabetized from A to Z. With options in JSON format. Including all the actual data, all the actual doc data, and alphabetized, alphabetized, ascending, it's A to Z. As usual, we will have a failure or a success. So after the curly brace of our options, comma, function, parentheses, curly braces, failure, success.
right? So db.alldocs, that's the purpose there. Get me all the data out of the database, including the original data, so the number of the comic, the year of the comic, etc. Alphabetize it A through Z. Let's break that curly brace because then we have to deal with if else. If there was a failure in getting the data, else there was no failure, it was successful. Do the usual if a failure. Let's do some console output to try to figure that out. What is what what is that um, failure object? We'll take a break in a moment. Else console log success. Okay, what's the what, what's the result of this successfully pulling out of the database? We're gonna get back an object. We're gonna get an object very similar to when we were working with the, the plain old JSON file, the JSON project, our intro to JSON when we talked about the networks. Remember all of that data in that JSON file was was represented in the object data. This is the same thing. If we call this success and say we call it data, failure data, this would still work. But I'm keeping it as failure and success just to keep that consistent. So both would work. It would work if this was called kitty cat. And then console log kitty cat. So it doesn't matter what these things are called as long as it makes sense to you. Let's save it and run it, then we'll take a break. What should happen, hopefully, is that as soon as you... Oh, one more thing. Uh, well, we have no trigger for that. We have that function, but nothing's triggering it. Just to see if this works. Line 203, run the function. We need to have the function run on the event of something. For the moment, let's just run the function. Because we created a function, but we never ran it. We never invoked it. So we get nothing. Just uh, invoke the name of the function, and it'll do its thing. If there's data in the database, which by now there should be. Let's see. So run that. F12 console, I get an object. So line 198 says you get an object. 198 is the success object. The success object inside of it says there are, in my case, a total of eight comics saved in the database, rows of data inside of rows, each of the individual objects starting from zero. The zeroth object I saved <coughs> Uh, because it's alphabetical, there's the, the one of just empty spaces. Um, the next one is the one of gibberish. The next one, there we go, AMA number one, which then you can further go into the doc. And that's the one, Amazing Spider-Man, number one from 1963. So this object this success object is basically like our intro to JSON, where we read the data from the JSON file and had it stored in an object called data. And then we could do data.social.url to give me the URL of that particular one, the first one, the third one, whatever. We will see in a little bit, we will do something like that, success you know, underscore ID, and it'll give us the ID of a particular comic, success dot title. It'll give us the title of a particular comic. We'll, we'll do this, of course, in a moment. But let's uh, pause at this point. If you are getting some console output, kind of explore that a moment, see what's inside of it, and then we will go on in a moment.